so much talk these days, especially for businesses and corporations, how to incorporate more diversity, how to be more inclusive as a company. And to talk more about this today, I'm really excited to welcome to the group from this Ray McKenzie group, the CEO, Sharon Smith Akinsanya. Sharon, how are you? It is good to see you. Good to see you too, Natalie. Thank you for having me. I, you know, I'm so glad to talk about this because I feel like right now these kind of topics are in the forefront of conversations, but it's one thing to have a conversation about it and it's another thing to actually make that happen. What do you say to companies and corporations that want to not just, you know, talk the talk, but walk the walk? You know, it's a great question. The first thing that we talk about is that we've got to move beyond pledges and promises to action. We have to do that because so many people are paying attention, including people like you, Natalie, from the media that are really keeping track of what companies are really doing, right? Are they doing stuff and not just saying stuff? And also as professionals of color are really deciding what it is they want to do and who it is they want to work for, what companies they want to give their time and treasure to, they're really digging in deep about, you know, am I ever going to be able to be promoted? Do I see people in leadership that look like me? Is the company truly committed to making sure that people of color are hired and promoted? And I really want to know where the CEO stands. What is he or she doing and saying in the community to make me understand that this could be a place where I can, um, you know, settle down and add value to? So it's really important that we're paying attention and that companies are really getting those internal and external experts that they need to do proper messaging. If they are truly moving from pledges and promises to action, then they need to tell that story. Well, I'm curious. I mean, as we're talking about wanting to do this, are there mistakes that you've seen companies and corporations making to kind of take steps backwards, unfortunately? Yeah, absolutely. So what's happening is, is that many corporations are continually continuing to do what they've always done in the past. And that's just not good enough. They must make a shift, right? To get experts and get uh, internal experts, external experts that they need to really help them move the needle forward faster. Because those corporations that truly get it, Natalie, will leave their competition in the dust. So we have to change the game. We have to really move into the 21st century and do the things that it's going to take to build those relationships with top talent of color so that that company will be considered. So let's talk steps to actually make it happen. Say you had the CEOs on speed dial and you could get them on the phone. What steps and messages would you like to send the people at the top to be able to see the change needed? Number one, decide. See, once you decide that you want a more diverse C-suite, you want a more diverse leadership uh, team, once you decide what you want your work world to look like as a CEO, then it will happen because we know that the boss always leads. So those CEOs, when they lead out loud and make a decision that they want to change, it will change. Then number two, make sure that you have the talent and expertise to make that happen. Again, I talk a lot about internal and external experts. We don't know what we don't know. So we have to ask good questions and make sure that we have experts and talent around us that can help us get from here to there. And number three, put a timeline on it. Set some goals, put a timeline on it, and hold yourself accountable. If you do those three things, you will have a more diverse and inclusive workforce because you have decided that that's what you want your world to look like. And Sharon, I, I ask you about what you would say to CEOs and tops of companies. Let's talk about the benefits for the employees. What are employees able to see from a more inclusive and open environment? Well, they see that they have a shot. They mm -hmm. see that they're working for a corporation that really wants to be a good corporate citizen, that is committed to making sure everybody is, has equitable and fair opportunities at all levels of the organization. And that's a company that we can be proud of. And so when they see people getting promoted and advanced and getting raises, they know that they have an opportunity as well. So transparency is the best disinfectant. And so when CEOs and leadership make their stories known and their moves and actions known to the entire employee population, we can all be ambassadors, right? And walk in billboards and tell those stories. And that benefits all of us. Sharon, I'm so glad I was able to talk with you about this today and share these important messages with our viewers. We've been sharing a website at the bottom of the screen. Is that the best place to go for more information? 
Absolutely. If people just log on to GetRMG.com, there is a wealth of free information that my team has put together so you can know exactly where to get started. So, yes. Karen, great meeting you today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Natalie.